This is part two of pruning a tree. I forgot uh, talking about basic shape of the tree or talking about the basic shape of a tree when you're pruning. The goal of proper pruning when you're doing thinning on a tree typically is to re retain the same overall shape but thin the branches. The reason for this, you want good airflow going through the tree, especially in Atlanta you know, on hot summer days after it rains, the moisture will get on the leaves. If the tree is really thick on the inside, it's not gonna have a lot of airflow. That promotes fungal activity, uh, fungal leaf spot. And again, the goal of pretty much all of arboriculture is to help the tree allocate its resources for strong, healthy, upward growth. Not always upward, but growth where it doesn't have to waste its resources on different things. And so if, if, if it has invested energy into a leaf that gets leaf spot fungus because of lack of airflow, and then it has to drop that leaf off early because it's no longer photosynthesizing, then the tree does not get as much photosynthesis, as much food in return for the investment that it made in producing the leaf. So while leaf spot fungus is a, a one year thing, new leaves don't get it necessarily the next year, if it happens year over year, it draws down the overall energy of the tree. So that's why you want to do internal thinning to clean out the tree and allow proper airflow. Now, in this particular case, there's gonna be a lot of airflow. There's not a lot of uh, limbs on it. But the point being is, when you go through, what you'll do is you'll select, you know, if you have five branches, maybe you'll select one of the five to prune out. Maybe you'll select two of the five. Um, and that will allow a little more openness so in this case on this tree that we were looking at earlier little example here of course this tree is going to be very open anyway we're talking about trees that are more thick more dense maybe like this little beech tree over here um but anyway you know like if you saw a little grouping here maybe you would take one at most two um if it was thicker you know you take out of five you take maybe one or two that at, at two you would be at actually a pretty huge amount that would be a 40 percent canopy clean if you did that throughout the can uh, throughout the entire canopy which would be too much in general you want 10 to 15 percent so if you see 10 branches you take one to one and a half branches in general for a canopy clean uh they they used to say 25 percent but i think they're saying now that that's a little bit too high on a per year basis. Now remember, you can do this multiple years and that's always better. Also another thing regarding pruning, and you may not get into this because this is more of a climbing scenario, but it's always better to prune a lot of smaller cuts on the tips of the tree rather than take big cuts closer to the trunk. Reason for that is it's easier for the tree to heal those smaller cuts and um, you get your canopy sail effect if you're pruning to reduce the sail effect the sail effect is reduced throughout multiple beams of the tree rather than cutting one beam off and leaving a lot of sail effect still on the multiple beams so that's pruning part two just in general when you're thinning a canopy you want to um, go through and retain the overall shape of course if you're doing a canopy lift you're kind of going to make a little bit of a lollipop shape or maybe a vase shape um, in time. The, of course, the higher you go with your canopy lift, in time, the top of the tree will catch up and it will then regrow into the shape that you have right now. Um, and then just one last thing to remember, anytime you do a crown reduction cut, or for that matter, kind of any cuts that you do, remember you're gonna almost revitalize the areas or re, uh, extra stimulus will go into the areas that aren't cut. Because you remember the tree trunk and the roots have a lot of different uh, resources stored up during the pruning or the dormant season. And if you cut off an area that it was gonna allocate those resources to, it's gonna heal that area some, but also shoot off all those resources to the different areas of the tree, which will cause them to grow faster. So anyway, that is uh, part two of pruning your tree.
and that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, 770-Arborist. If you're in the North Atlanta area, we'd love to serve you. Take care. Bye-bye.